So there we go, baby Bigaboto. Rig a boat. Rig. Man, that's hard to say. <laughs>
And this is Carly Hoff. This is Hannah Pugh. And this is Mila Pugh. And this is Mila Pugh's son, Kaysen. And this is Sage's daughter, Christy. So, we are going to go ahead and meet them. So, friendly introduction to her. Friendly introduction to Marcus. her. Friendly introduction to her. Dag. Let's what? just talk to them out. So, so. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> dag, dag. And yeah, that just so happens to be like the only primitive thing I found for Kaysen. So, yes, he is running around in some brown little underwears. Famous band trip. Uh -huh. Chefflet. Paula Floyd. Yeah. And we should probably um, get to know them. Which, of course, the one I want to talk to walks away. Get to know her. Um, get to know her. And get to know her. Ah, Dorna. Okay, so Hannah is a perfectionist. Carly is a foodie. Mila is romantic. So Mila might be our best chance right now. So we're going to con we're going to ask her for advice about their lost raccoon. We're going to ask her about her day and. Um, Ask her about her career. I assure Nick. you, it's probably yeah, no. unemployed. Sahibsa. Compliment their Ugh. house. Their huts are pretty advanced. I mean, like, better than the tents that um, Vikram and his uh, partner is living in. So they've got, looks like they've got, like, a little toddler room. They And they've got all these huts with, like, actual beds. It's amazing. And they've got the woodworking and an art table. So maybe he'll get some ideas of what they have for their hut. Looks like a little uh, Christy, is that her name? Christy, yeah, is making a little mess over there. Oh, he looks like he is a lovely little boy. Um, I really kind of just want to talk to her alone, if we could. Uh... Let's see, let's leave the group chat. I don't know if that'll work. Ask her about her day again, and then chat over here. I bet they're all gonna come right. Yes, that did not work at all. Oh, man, I just want to talk to Mila. She's like the only one that's uncomfortable right now, too. Talk about property values, man. It doesn't look like they, uh. They all seem pretty frustrated with each other. Oh, and Mila is cold. Ah. So maybe we can, com yeah, let's complain about the cold. Um, uh, ask her to stargaze. That'll put us to where it's only me and her talking. Oh, Christy. There we go. So now they're talking alone. You know, with a crowd. Hopefully they'll go somewhere. So there they are. Now they're finally alone. So he knows that this woman already has children, so she's fully capable. So, and she's got a unibrow, so she's she's very very attractive to him. <laughs> oh no, Mila, come back. No sleep. Just stop thinking about your bed. Uh, ask about your day again. No, no. Stop walking. Okay, um... Let's see. Let's have a deep conversation with her, and then... Um... Compliment her house. Uh, what's with her relationship right now? Mila. So, they're still... They're friends and they're neighbors. Okay. Let's try flirting. What would that do right now? So they're both inspired. <laughs> oh, oh, she likes it. <laughs> that unibrow, though. Um, 
Okay, let's see. Uh, deep conversation again. Niblets of Brescia. Uh, <laughs> oh, Debate existence of vampires. <laughs> uh, flirt with her. <laughs> uh, ask her if she's <laughs> single. Uh, flirt again. And let's compliment her appearance. <laughs> Milo is single. Uh, warm up with body heat? No way. I didn't know that was a thing. That's super cute. We're going to have to do that. Um, flirt again. My goodness. Can y'all like each other already? Okay. Uh, um, oh, no. She did not like that. Uh uh. Okay. Ask her about her day. I'm sorry. Too much. Too soon, I guess. Compliment her house. Get it back to pleasant conversation. Let's stargaze. Okay, so they're stargazing. So Vikram is a cheerful sim. Cheerful sims seem to be happening more often. Okay, let's... um. Can we flirt with her now? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> okay, so she is enjoying it again. Um, we need to get her flirty. Oh gosh. Okay, it looks like they're... <sighs> looks like neither one of them are in a very good mood. So, looks like we'll have to keep this up uh, another day. So, we do know all the girls now, so that's good. And I think they are all sleeping. So, yeah. They're all sleeping, and I'm sure she wants to sleep as well. So, she's probably going to go. And Vikram's going to go ahead and go home and go back to bed. Okay, so we're back at home. Um, and there is some weird- Oh, Nancy, I was gonna say, there's some weird chick here. It's Nancy. If she could go home, that would be great. But we're gonna go ahead and go to bed, and she needs to go to bed also, so... Let's have them both go to sleep. Mila, go to- not Mila, freaking Mala. Go to sleep, and yeah. Okay, so while I was awake, she has to go to the bathroom. Surprise, surprise, but she is pregnant, so we can cut her some slack. Um, okay, I think she she should be in her third trimester now, huh? Yes, so she should be giving birth pretty soon, and we are going to have to have... Are you serious? You were just in the bush. Ugh, Dravoy Plus? She just has to pee on herself. I think she just Ooh, enjoys wow. peeing on herself. That's probably it. She just likes... She just likes it. Whatever. So go wash your hands a bit. And the sink has broken again. So, Vikram's gonna have to fix that. And she went ahead and just went to bed. So, we'll be back. Okay, so Mala is awake again and is now embarrassed about having peed herself. And she's still tired. Why does she even... Why? Just go back to bed. Vikram... Oh man, man, this is just... This is just going by really slow. Okay, so Vikram is awake. Mala woke up multiple times and I had to keep putting her back to bed. She's just not sleeping well for some reason and he didn't sleep good either but he has to go to the bathroom so... Oh! Guess who's back? She's still sick. Poor thing. There's really nothing we can do about it. That really sucks. Um, 
Is he gonna be himself or he's gonna use the bush? He uses the bush. What a smart, smart person. Um, so let's go ahead and um, give a bow, a bow, give a bowl of food to Q. And it's snowing again. Um, and let's go repair the sink. Um, let's see, after this, do we, we should probably go back over to Mila, um, but we're going to let him eat first because he's pretty hungry. And I think we're going to roast some fish, hopefully it doesn't start a fire. It would be a great accomplishment if, you know, we could get by one day without starting a fire in the lot. That'd be great. Um, so he's going to roast a fish. She's uncomfortable and I, you know, I bet she pees herself again, but we, we'll see. Let's see if she makes it. Ronnie Zimze. What? Oh, of course. And she's in the rock, but you know, yeah, she did pee herself again. She just, I, I'm convinced. I'm convinced she enjoys it. So she's going to wash her hands few times and let's see she can she also is hungry no strawberries no strawberries mushrooms we need mushrooms put the strawberries in Vikram's inventory okay this poor girl I'm surprised she hasn't died from embarrassment yet from the amount of a times she's peed herself Oh, and he's making hot dogs. And he, where did his food go? Why do they not eat the food once they make the fish? Like, eat, eat the food that you already made. Oh, wow, you just shovel that right in. Let's see if he does it again. Oh, man, she's... She is quite pregnant. Our poor raccoon. I wish that, like, it seems like every pet I ever have in this game since uh. pets have come out, like, they always get sick, like, all the time, and there's, like, nothing you can do about it other than take them to the vet or give them those treats, and I just, we're not supposed to be having vets right now, so we can't do that. Uh, she's still hungry, but we're gonna have her clean. Um, eat some mushrooms. Yeah, it might not be the best thing that we go over to Mila's house right now. I don't know, because Mala could give birth at any moment. So... I don't know, should we risk it? Should we not? I don't know, but he definitely needs to get his hygiene up. I think it would be best to go over there because he's in a really good mood right now, and that that hardly happens, so... What the heck was that? That was a really weird sound, guys. Just like this really creepy wind, just... Yeah, that was really creepy. Okay, well, he's gonna go back over there. Sorry if, uh, you know, she has birth and um, he's not there, but he doesn't really care about these things, and neither does she. She's insane. So, he's going to go back over to the village and talk to Mila. Mila Mala, Mila Mala, same thing. So, we're at the village, and we gotta find Mila. There she is in her winter clothing. Like I said before, her, um, her winter clothing is gonna be a lot like everyone else's. It's, you know, the most close thing I could find, the primitive wear. So they're all kind of wearing the same thing, but... 
So let's see. Let's. Hmm. Uh, let's have them in a good Gilles. conversation Stop first, a puzzle, and good. then we'll start flirting with her. We gotta get back as soon as we can, <laughs> just in case. Uh, Mala does have the baby. Mm -hmm. Would be nice to be there, ah. but you know, crazy. oh, she's crazy too. Uh, so we're having a pleasant conversation, so we'll go ahead and flirt now. <laughs> She's enjoying it. Oh gosh, I thought they started a fire on there a lot. I was gonna be like, wow, the look of us. So she's a bro also. I did um I did make all these sims and all of their personalities are also random. I used a um, website to randomize their traits. Actually, no, I didn't. I forgot. We have the ram randomized trait button now. So, yeah, that's what I did. Um, I wish you would get out of the water because that water looks gross. And um, we're trying to get a relationship here. Um, let's see. Can we... Oh, 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 let me not get off your phone. Flirt with her some more. Um, compliment her appearance, maybe. And then ask her about her day. Flirt again. Oh man, her child is here. That's weird. Flirt with her some more. Ah, chul, chul. <laughs> get her appearance. Man, this is taking Dang forever. Dang. Oh, she's floating. Uh, uh. Oh my goodness. Y'all yeah. need to like each other. Stop doing this stuff. <sighs> Maybe I'm just gonna have to get them all to best friends before... Because I'm really not like in the whole, uh, oh, yes. like rejecting yep. each other's each <laughs> other stuff. So sorry, my cat is wanting attention right now. Oh wow, that was just lovely. Okay, just let him go cloud gaze by himself. Yeah, you better go over there. Oh wow, that didn't last very long, now did it? Let's try this again. Okay. Okay, so they finished doing that. Where are you going? Oh man. Become best friends. Okay. Now flirt with her. Flirt with her some more. <laughs> y'all have a really good friendship, so like, if y'all aren't y'all aren't feeling this then that's just too bad because i only made up enough of y'all to have the five babies so it this has to work so they warmed each other with the body heat uh, okay so now he's flirty uh, blow her kiss um, uh, kiss her hands, offer her a rose, and then try to have a baby. If we could, you know. I guess we have to have a first kiss first, so that would probably work a lot better. I'm rushing things. Oh, and she's just creepily watching. <laughs> okay, so no, where are you going? You're not done here. You have work to do. Sexy pose. Um try for baby. 
<laughs> and I think with her, we are going to try for baby twice to ensure that it does work. Um, wish I could see into their house. <laughs> what the view the rest of them have. That's not awkward at all. Oh, look at them. All talking to each other. <laughs> she's just- oh, she's just gonna go pee right by their hut. Okay. If I could see into the house, that would be amazing, guys. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Um... Well, for one, we need her to get- well, I guess he's just gonna sleep there for the night. Whatever. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Let's try for a baby again. Okay. And this way it should be pretty successful. Okay, so they're done and now he's just gonna go home. <laughs> bye bye, Mila. Um it was nice knowing ya. <coughs> So we're back at home and it looks like Mala is still pregnant, so that's good. And she's not even in labor. Wow. That's surprising. I thought she would at least be in labor. She is falling asleep though. Um, but he is quite tired too, so yeah, he's gonna go to the bathroom. And he's just gonna sleep in the bush, I guess. Um, I think once they have the baby, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade their tent to a hut like the girls in the little village have. So. <clears throat> oh, Mala's gone in labor. Okay, so I have to set up their crib because it is a certain kind of crib. And I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and I had to do some rearranging, but here's our new hut, and she's going to go ahead and go have her baby now. And this is the crib. Um, I think, I think we're going to have to put an actual crib there, and then put the baby in that crib, because I don't know that that is going to work. Um, let's keep trying. Dola Benuth A Soy Breath Mokosa. Let me see. Bolonide Yanis Edge Long. I should just be able to click her and say have baby. Yeah, there we go. So go ahead and have your baby. Stop talking to the crib and go ahead and have the baby. Come on now. Oh, oh, wax wing. Oh, 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 it's a boy. So, I have no idea what I want to name him. Probably something I should have thought of, but uh, let's go ahead and randomize a bit and see what we can't find. Princeton. Um, I don't want it to be too fancy because, like I have mentioned before, this is not going to be the next generation. This is technically generation zero that we started out with. So yeah, I think Rigoberto. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Rigoberto. I think we're going to go with Rigoberto. So there we go. Oh, Baby Rigoberto. So here he is. And the crib is not placed where it needs to be, so let's see if we can't fix that. There we go. Okay. So there we go. Baby Bigaboto. Rigabo. Rig. Man, that's hard to say. Rigoberto. 
And of course, she's gonna scratch that real quick, but the baby's a little bit more important, so let's um, lecture about scratching. So, here we go, and let's well, if we could breastfeed the baby, was Oh! <laughs> well, we got onto the girl, it'd make things a little easier. She just went right to bed, she didn't even want to breastfeed that baby. Oh, and now he's panicking about having the baby. Okay, so, and now they finally have a bed, guys. But, um... Yeah. Can we- we can comfort the- yeah, let's comfort Koo. While the baby- and we're gonna have to take them slippers off, cause that- that doesn't go right. Okay, so I think you should probably go to bed, girl. Ah, no. No, no, no. We're actually going to go to the bathroom before we go to bed so we don't pee ourselves. Okay. Now go to sleep, and um, Vikram probably should go to the bat, go to the bathroom. Um, he should probably go to sleep also. So let's get them both in bed. Girl, go to bed. You've already had a baby with him. It's not gonna like. There we go. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the day here. So. We've had baby Rigoberto, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.